So today we're going over experiment four that deals all the reaction. Uh, deals all the reaction is a class of reactions referred to as cycloaddition, um, and specifically deals all the reaction is a four plus two cycloaddition. Um, that means we have four pi bonds adding with two pi, or sorry, four pi electrons adding with two pi electrons uh, from your other molecule. The range that we're going to be using are anthracene, which is this guy, uh, malic anhydride, which you see here, and then xylene would be our uh, solvent. The product we're going to get is 9,10 dihydroanthracene, 9,10 alpha, beta, succinic anhydride. That's all one big title, it's all one big uh, compound, and that's this guy right here. Um, so this is the overall reaction. Um, you see you run it in xylene. Uh, we reflux it for 30 minutes at around 140 degrees Celsius. Um, the way this mechanism works is it's all one concerted uh, step. What happens is your, uh, so you have your uh, diene file, which is attracted to your diene. You have two, uh, two double bond carbons right here. Uh, so you'll attack here at this carbon. This double bond will get pushed to this bond right here. This double bond will get pushed out to this other carbon. And basically, these two carbons get attached to these two carbons. Um, I know there's a lot of stuff on either side, so this is kind of the simple view of it. Um, your diene file will just attack uh, from carbon six to carbon one, and then uh, this bond between one and two will go between two and three, and then this bond here will form a new bond here, and you'll form this six-membered ring, which is kind of hard to see here, but it is a six-membered ring with one uh, five bonds that you form. Finally, to work up, um, what we're going to do is just cool down the reaction flask. Um, the solid should solidify out, and then we'll be able to uh, isolate it back. Welcome to the Diels Elder Reaction Lab. So here I would like to explain a little bit more that uh, in anthracene you will see the four resonating structures and there are two possible products are there that uh, malic anhydride can attach on the one terminal ring either on left side or on the right side making product A or B and also it can make a product with the central ring but uh, the product C is more stable, thermodynamically more stable, that is why we get only major product of this one rather than A or B, which I explained the um, kinetic um, thermodynamic uh, values are here also. In another way, you can also understand that uh, why this uh, product is uh, forming because this uh, terminal uh, ring product is formed is require more kinetic energy or thermal transition energy transition state is very high compared to the uh, middle ring this is the reason we get the major product as the middle ring one so these are the two regions that the and here is our uh, glass apparatus bin and here we have our anthracene anthracene is slightly yellow in color and we have already weighed around 0 0.505 gram and here is the malic anhydride which is white color powder here you can see this one we have weighed around 0 0.251 and this is the xylene so let's start to set up this reaction and uh, before that we need all um, safe personal protective equipments goggles, gloves, lab coats and clothes to close to shoes. So let's start our reaction now. So we're going to go ahead and start by adding uh, two boiling stones to our round bottom flask just to help with the boiling. Next what we're going to do is add our 0.5 grams of anthracene to the round bottom flask. grams of malic anhydride. And finally we're going to add six milliliters of the xylene. This round bottom flask is uh, 50 ml or 25 ml? 50 ml. 
This is a 50 ml down bottom class. So we're going to go ahead and tighten this up just a little bit. Now what we're going to do is set up our reflux apparatus. We've got to make sure we uh, grease our joints. Just a little bit of grease just like this. has been set up so we'll wait till it start boiling and refluxing so now you can see it start refluxing and let's check the temperature how much temperature is right now we can uh, move a little bit this Come right here. Okay, we can see from the side. So it's around 125 degrees Celsius right now. And uh, maybe we can crank a little bit high in the heat rather than 6 to 7. And then it will keep refluxing. So we'll wait. Uh, we'll reflux for 30 minutes. And then we'll come back. for workup of this reaction so here we have completed 30 minute refluxing so now what we're going to do is turn off the heat and turn off the water uh, we want to let this cool down to room temperature so what we're going to do is just remove the heating mantle uh, from right underneath it and then just let this sit here um, until it cools down to room temperature where we're able to touch it. Once it's cool enough, we'll go ahead and uh, put it into the ice bath so it can really cool down. So here we have water? Xylene. Xylene. So this is xylene and ice cold xylene. And here is our filtration assembly setup. So we'll wait till it, I can see some precipitate. So yeah, the more, like will, more will come once it cools. Product is also already started precipitating. So now you can see it's after cooling at room temperature. After 10 minutes at room temperature, we can see more precipitate. So it's time to keep it in the ice. This is crystallization step. We will give some more time to crystallize the product and then we will filter it. So it's been about 10 minutes on the ice. You can already see a little bit more uh, precipitate forming at the bottom of it. So we're going to go ahead and do our vacuum filtration to get the solid out. Uh, first, what we're going to do is get a little bit of xylene. Uh, 
get our filter paper. Make sure it forms a good seal all the way around. Cool. We're going to go ahead and pour all of our products into the top. Then we're going to use our cold styling in the test tube to rinse this. Leave it on vacuum for about a couple, like five minutes, um, and then we'll go ahead and put this onto a watch glass and let it dry in the oven. We have to remove this uh, winding tip also. Yeah, we'll check that out later. Vacuum drying for about five or ten minutes. It looks really good. Uh, it's got kind of that sparkle to it, which is what you uh, would expect with this type of molecule. So what we're going to do is take the vacuum and hose off first. Turn off the vacuum. And we're going to get this filter paper off of the Buchner funnel and onto this watch glass. Just make sure that this is completely dry. We'll put this in the oven uh, for about 15 minutes and then we'll get a mask for it. So I just picked the boiling stones out uh, off camera, but we're gonna go ahead and set this in here. It's uh, about 110 degrees right now, so it should be fine. Um, put it in for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and get the mass of our product uh, now that it's out of the oven. So we're gonna tear the wave out first to add everything in here. Cool. So 0.781. Cool. So now that we got our, the mass of our product, we're gonna get the melting point of it. So to do that, we're just gonna cram a little bit of the product into the tip of this capillary tube. I got some in there. Yeah, you can dab it from upside down. Yeah. And then we have to take melting point? Yes. Okay, let's do this. So once we got a little bit of it loaded in there, we're going to drop it down this burette. So that it will bounce without falling over. And we can repeat this multiple times until it's all of the solid is down at the bottom. This is nice. capillary tube with our solid into the melting point station 
and then we're going to turn it up to 180, maybe 200. Uh, the melting point for this product should be 260 degrees. So we'll go ahead and let it warm up uh, for a while and then we'll slowly kind of start turning it up. You can see it from here. Very close. Let's see if we can see. Yeah, it's still white solid. a little bit higher. 